welcome to phpsolution.com today we are going to discuss a very important topic how you can be a data analyst from a test engineer for example you have been working to testing domain maybe you are a manual tester or automate tester and as you see the job market is getting more tougher day by day as ai is getting into the market and gradually the opportunities as a tester is getting reduced and i'm sure you you feel like you are stuck up in your career because the career growth as a test engineer or test analyst is limited and there are a lot of new opportunities in the market in terms of you know salary in terms of career growth there are a lot of opportunity especially one of the hot topic these days to be a data analyst data scientist you know that is the path so can you be a data analyst can you hop on from a test engineer job to data analyst this is what i am going to talk about today and this is from my past 22 years of experience so everything i am talking about today based on my own experience the people i speak in my day in day out okay so the first thing what job do you do and the kind of job you have been doing it does it have any kind of bridge or a link from a tester software tester to a data analyst yes there are certain common functionality first we understand what job you are going to do as a data analyst okay well as the name indicate data analyst or analytical analytics okay which simply means you are using different techniques tools and methods to analyze business data so that you can help your business user to drive certain drive certain decision making position right so based on certain data you can drive certain value out of it so every business these days generating a lot of data but they need people who can drive value out of this data so this requires naturally a knowledge of technology knowledge of underlying domain okay so you take a raw data maybe raw or semi structured data so data is coming from various sources like various uh, erp sources or uh, maybe erp crm customer relationship management or maybe it is coming from so social networking site from live feed isn't it you get data from there so this is semi structured and raw data you massage this data you transform it and you convert into the format which is actionable for your business managers okay so at the end of the day what job you are going to deliver and what job you are going you all been doing it there are certain bridge i am going to help you to create that bridge so that your job hop from a tester to a data analyst become an easy well the kind of job you have been doing in your day to day life you know you have some application and you are doing a technical or a functional testing so when you are doing functional testing inevitably you have a knowledge of the underlying domain you understand a certain process has worked in certain way so let's say you have been working into a healthcare industry for past 4 5 years so over the period of time you started understanding the keywords and jargons and the way the system works that domain knowledge is going to be big value addition for you because at the end of the day when you play with numbers and drive value out of it the more knowledge you have for the data the better value you can generate out of it so what you do you have a source code you perform various type of unit testing right then if it is a larger system then you connect multiple modules and you do integration testing then you have system testing and you do uat user acceptance testing so it means couple of skills you already have which you require as a data analyst first skill for sure you have inculcated a domain knowledge whatever domain little some basic understanding about the domain for sure you have the kind of job you have been doing it <coughs> you have been communicating with business users so you have a business user you know their vocabulary their their vocabulary the way they speak to so uat uh, is all about is your application or software is designed according to their expectation and is it meeting up the end need and need right so you you have a documentation skill you know how to read technical design document you do you different unit test cases your business understanding you know functionality of an application and you know how the requirement gathering process take place now let's take let's take your existing knowledge and use this knowledge in a data analyst profile okay the shortest the lowest hanging hanging fruit is from a test engineer to from test engineer to data analyst there are a lot of test engineer or 
test the job opportunities into into data domain right, as a data analyst okay so maybe a lower profile maybe one step lower than data analyst could be you can be a test engineer where you're playing with the numbers and making sure the system the report the output which you rendered from an application this is exactly what you needed right so the shortest path from a test engineer to be a data analyst you can be a test engineer into data data engineering project so if you get such kind of opportunity that is the best start easiest way for you to you know, get it however if you look at my ppt there are the skill gap i mentioned over here the skill you are good at requirement gathering you know how to create test plans you have been creating documentation you execute test cases and make sure application is performing as expected now let's say what do you do as a data analyst so primarily if i say data analyst you acquire data from source you take data from source you put into in a certain format you massage it and you prepare reports and dashboard sometime you are working into advisory role to help business to perform certain job based on the facts or trends you gather right so overall whatever you do you play with numbers right and and two primary skill you work on communication skills and business skills right domain knowledge there are two big value addition from a technology point of view also i will be talking about in next slide okay so we understood the kind of job role you can do it it consists of technical part and non technical part non technical part you must already be good at if you already spent 3 4 5 years you know working in a test engineer the other skill which you need to acquire is a technical skills so under technical skill what is the shortest from where you start and take a baby step let's say in the past maybe in an academics you learn programming so you know a little bit about programming or probably you are really good at excel or you have some idea of programming in the past so whatever your existing skill you can start leveraging it so technically is a vast i mean the vast variety of tool and solution we use as a data analyst right in terms of data visualization in terms of data massaging data transformation data warehousing data acquisition the various layer so right? you need not to be good at everything you can start with one or two layer be good at that and then keep on acquiring another skill so this require a proper strategy you know, getting into a data analyst job it is not something you plan overnight there should be a strategy 3 months 6 months strategy and we are going to help you out drawing that strategy based on your existing skills okay so what skill you can start in the beginning the very basic skill you can start with start with excel if you are good at excel mean advanced excel knowledge of business plus advanced knowledge of excel could be the starting point for you right in case you are getting data from semi structured sources let's say uh, i am getting customer feedback data from twitter or from x right there is a portal we prepare where customer raise their complaint so i get data from there and i massage it and put into excel and then draw a certain summary out of it manually you can use program so at least this is a first skill you already you can acquire it some part of your data is coming from relational database let's say you have a crm application customer relationship management and it is it is built on top of relational database oracle or sql server db2 if you know how to write sql query and get this data this is another skill sometime data is coming from semi structured sources and you use no sql so sql skill data visualization skill data massaging skill data storage skill to data warehousing so there are different skills you have you prepare a list of it and identify which skill you want to go at stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 2 months plan 4 months plan 6 months plan you can prepare a plan like this okay so based on my past so many years of experience you know helping people uh, acquiring new skill this is what i figured it out okay. so the starting point could be first two week you can spend with advanced excel i am not sure how many of you have worked on to advanced excel but new generation excel provide you lot of capabilities and functions so assume you are going to work into financial domain as a data analyst right so excel has got tons of function into finance right so remaining in excel you could do seriously you can do basic to advanced analytics it is not mandatory for all kind of analytics you need to use programming tool only right so knowledge of excel 
and statistics, advanced Excel statistics, other starting point. Spending two weeks really makes sense. Then, then you know you can visualize data in Excel. Plus, if you need to draw a pattern, pattern analytics, advanced statistical modeling, you know you can use professional data visualization tool, and they are super easy. Even if you do not know technology, you can still learn this. Power BI and Tableau are two most demanding data visualization tool these days. Without knowing programming, you can still be good at that. Okay. And seriously, there are many people who claim they are they are good at Power BI and Tableau, but you can count on finger handful of people seriously know how to make use of these two product capabilities to the fullest. So we'll talk about a lot of advanced features, you know, the shortest way to visualize data. See, because at the end of the day, every business want to reduce or lean the, the software and IT cost, right? Cost, leaning cost is, is a prime objective of the company. By using Power BI and Tableau, you can quickly visualize data and drive certain pattern. Then sometimes we do predictive modeling, advanced modeling. Right. So you can use a programming language like Python and R. So naturally you should have a question that you have no prior experience into programming. So the beauty of programming in Python and R is that it is super easy. The syntax are the syntax are like English language. Okay. So there are different stages. So beginner and intermediate stage are super easy. And it has got a lot of templates, packages, ready built package where you can do data visualization, data massaging, data cleansing, data enrichment, you know, data storage, a lot of advanced thing you can do in programming. So two weeks is a is a good time to spend, you know, into programming language, either Python or R. I would prefer to use a Python because in Python, in case in your project you select finance as a domain, Python provides you very huge rich functionality of pre-built templates. Okay. <laughs> Then it comes to the, there are certain advanced Python packages like NumPy, Panda. These are packages where, which are assisting you to perform uh, data analytics, data massaging in Python. Okay. So three week we'll talk about them and we have a huge number of scenarios and we work on real data, data which is publicly available, right? Like screener.com or Yahoo Finance or Morningstar can get real data from there and play around with this. In case you have access to any ERP system, let's say you have access to Oracle ERP or SAP or Microsoft or any ERP system, then you can get real data from, from ERP, right? Or you have a data available in certain application, custom application. So you and the data store in relational database, you can acquire data from SQL. So writing SQL query is another skill. You might have done this job in your as a part of testing. If you've not done it, you can leverage your skill as a test engineer. Okay. Then most important part where we spend two to 20 weeks subject to the, the level of interest. As I said, you know, hopping a job from a test engineer to a data analyst, it, it requires strategy. It is strategy which very cleverly designed or plot a plan. So at least I believe you spend six to eight weeks of time in executing different projects. The more project hands-on you do, the more you feel comfortable. It's all about practice. So when you do a project, what is important? First thing you should have a real problem statement, problem. When you have a problem, then only you can build a solution. So we well articulate the problem and based on the problem, we create a design document, we create a project plan, we create a different stages at which the problem is to be solved. So eight week of time helps you to create at least minimum two, two full end to end project you can do it, right? Because uh, there are a lot of, uh, you know, difficulties or challenges or POCs I did with my customer. You know, so those are the use cases which I did as a use cases which I did with my customer. I bring it to you and then you can, you, you can do it on your own right from requirement gathering to final report development. So the area where you should pay a lot of attention is the hands-on. And from a technology point of view, we would be talking about very advanced Excel, SQL, programming languages, 
data visualization tool like Tableau, Power BI. And in between this, we also talk about some ETL tool, data massaging, data transformation, and a little bit about Snowflake. Okay. So this is one of the easiest way to hop on from a test engineer to a data analyst. Once you are into data analyst job profile, then the sky is the limit. You have plenty of opportunities available. You can identify the area where you like to specialize into. You can pick up in certain domain and you can be good at certain domain. So from a solution point of view, I also mentioned over here different job role. If you look at pyramid view, right? different list of activities and different job role. The area where we are paying a lot of attention is as a data analyst. right? So step one, you collect or acquire data from different source system. Maybe your ERP, CRM, SCN, semi the source, social networking source. You bring data from there and then you do different type of data cleansing, massaging, transformation, and then we do analytics. So in a pyramid model, we work at layer number third, right? And as you develop your interest, as you go on with your career ladder, you develop your interest. After data analysis, you can be a test. You can machine learning engineer. There are a lot of opportunities open for you. You remain in one domain, get spatial into domain. Or if you're good at programming, you can go to machine learning. If you're good at statistics, you can be you can create a complex data modeling, predictive modeling, you can do it. There are a lot of opportunities. But once you're into the system, then only you get to know that. Okay. Well, one of the most important motivating factor is naturally salary, right? So even if you're starting as a beginner with no experience, okay, no experience, or probably work one, two years, still there are a lot of opportunities in terms of salary growth. Minimum you get 50%, minimum 50% hike. And I'm sure you know that as a test engineer, the salary growth is getting stagnant, right? Five, maximum 10 years your career growth. After this, there's nothing new for you to nothing new for you to evaluate to add on in your career. It means there's a dead end. Either you hop voluntarily into or you are bound to hop, born to quit this domain as the time passes. Because as AI is coming to the domain, AI is coming into picture, this gradually eating up the job opportunities. So there are some some based on certain analytics I extracted from various job portal. I found worst case, if you start as a beginner, zero to two year experience, you get five to six lakh rupees easily. I know it's very low amount, right? But it's there's nothing harm starting as a moderate and depends upon your past experience. Right? Companies are even willing to pay you 50, 60 lakh. I know many people with five, six years of experience, but they're really good at their skills. They're really good and they're drawing 50, 60 lakh rupees. I know personally, many of them I train. So the companies are open to pay salary. Subject to that, you should really possess a skill, right? And the overall process, what all I talked about in presentation, the central point of discussion is strategy, strategy, assessing your existing skills and identify what you are good at. Once you know what you are good at, you identify what you can learn and how you can progress your career. So you should have well-defined career career progression ladder plan. And we as a BISP will help you to acquire that skill, shape your career. So that's it from my side. Should you have any question, please feel free to reach out to bisptraining.com. Thank you.